We need a countdown on this, right? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! How's that then? One stroke. Good. Man, look at these bits as well. <laughs> well they're really solid. Oh. Well, I'm afraid you drew blood a bit there, John. Oh, dear. Walter and I are still very good friends. In fact, he's rolling into the studio <laughs> now, playing his harmonica. You're all right. Come on, boy. Come on, then. Come on, Walter. Have you got brakes? Have you got brakes? Okay. No brakes. No brakes. Hello, Walter. Nice How to do? see you. Oh, up there. Am I up there? Yeah. Up. Right. Up there. Oh. <laughs> no, stand still. Stand still. I don't know about it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, stand still. I tried this. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't know about breaking okay. your head. Up. Last time. Yeah, oh, break your we, neck now. I think we will. Walter, it's so nice to see you again. Ooh. Well, since I saw you last time, yeah. you've walked about 84 miles on your hand. You've got the world record yeah. for sausage eating. Here they are. Just look at that. What is it? 30 sausages in 10 minutes? Stand still. Now, Walter, we'll... I think I must ask you, why are you stood on the top of these two great tyres? Are you ready? Yes. Go. Right. OK. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm a bit tired as well. Oh. Walter, it's yeah. nice to see you again. Yeah, thank you much. I'm glad I haven't broken anything this time. <laughs> no, no. This Maybe time see not. you again sometime soon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, cheers. Well, now from one balancing expert over to another that Val's with now, and his name is Fella. And although the tyre he's balancing on is from a toy tractor and not a real one, you can see he's doing just as good a balancing act as Walter. Strongman Walter Cornelius, who can bend and break an iron bar like we can bend and break matchsticks. You may remember some of the feats of strength we've had on Blue Peter with Walter, like uh, when I put a concrete block on his head and broke it in half with a sledgehammer. Walter, you won't forget that one in a hurry, will you? How are you doing, mate? My God, just look at these muscles. I reckon Walter must be the, the strongest bloke that I've... Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind some of those myself. Marvellous. If you wanted to knock a six-inch nail into a block of wood and you've forgotten your hammer, all you need is Walter Cornelius. Walter, that was fantastic. It's yeah. gone all the way through. How much do you weigh, Pete? 165 pounds. 165 pounds is going to come down on Walter's stomach. Are you ready, Walter? Okay. No. And there wow. it goes. Much rather oh. it was Walter than me. Oh. Now this next thing that's going to be done is even more fantastic because Walter's getting himself into a wrestler's bridge position. Now John is lighter than I am. He only weighs about 130 pounds or so, but he's going to jump down and do exactly the same thing. And only a real professional strongman should ever attempt this. Are you ready, Walter? Okay. Here we go! Ah! <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Not for oh. me. Well, that's the mini. Let's meet Walter Cornelius. Hello, Hello. Walter. Nice Hello. to see you again. Yeah, see you, you got your hat on. All yeah. set for the lift then. Oh. Yeah. Val's in there. Yes. Is he all right? Yes. Shall I join her? Yes, please do. You'll yeah. be all right under yes. there. Okay. Don't strain yourself. Right. Anything to make it just a little more difficult. So John gets in. Walter positions himself underneath the front end of the car. You all right there, Walter? Yeah. Fine. OK, so he's going to power lift the front end of this Mini off. Everything's set. Again, he's got to check his breathing, make sure this is right. Positioning himself exactly firmly and strongly. <laughs> And here it comes, and it's off the ground, because I can turn the wheel there. It's completely free, off the ground, and down. He held it there for several seconds. Walter, absolutely marvellous. <laughs> how, how do you feel, you two? Uh, uplifted. <laughs> Definitely uplifted. Uh, yes, yeah. certainly we can. Oh. <laughs> well, that, believe it or not, is 133 pounds of dumbbell. I can hardly lift it. But what Walter is going to do now to beat Charles's uh, thing there is going to lift Pat. Get away! He's not going to lift you up. He's going to lift up the... Oh, shush! He's going to lift up the dumbbell straight above his head, place it on his forehead, and at the same time, he's going to play the harmonica. OK, Walter, it's all yours. And there goes the dumbbell with one hand, caught with two. Place it on his forehead now. He's going to balance it. And play the harmonica. He's letting go with his hands and he's balanced. Blow, Walter, blow! He's blown and he's clapping his hands. He's a one-man man with a dumbbell on his forehead. Beat that! For Walter's next feat of strength, this is a really daring one because uh, it's also very dangerous. He rests his head on this chair, on there. And Walter, yeah. you've got a knife under your back. There's a knife there under Walter's oh. back. 
Wait, wait, wait. Okay. But I mean, the thing now is that he's got to do a full restless bridge across the back here. And I'll put okay. the knife underneath. And there's a okay. huge sharp steel yeah, blade sharp. comes down on Walter's chest. And okay. Right. Come on now. Right. Now, now. I'll get round here. Okay. You go first, now. Chris. All right. Oh, come on. Okay. Right. Harder. Harder. More harder. No, harder. More. Come on. You don't do it. Okay. Okay. Stay the plate off. Okay. Move the knife. Oh. Yeah, that really was a very sharp knife. Well, I can assure you that the kind of feats and tricks that Walter's doing, there you are, see that. Look at that. These need a terrific amount of training and they need a terrific amount of skill. So I advise you, whatever you do, don't go and have a try and do it yourselves. <laughs> well, that, of course, was strongman Walter Cornelius. And the other week, Walter was in the news again when he decided he'd have a go at flying like a bird. He built himself a gigantic pair of wings, took them to Peterborough and chose a supermarket roof as his runway. Before the actual attempt, Walter had a practice run-up. Crowds gathered on the bridge to watch this amazing flying man. Everything was set. Down below on the river, a boatman was waiting just in case things went wrong. But Walter was absolutely confident. He took a great leap forward and... Not the most successful flight in history, is it? Tell you what, you had a, a short runway there on top of the supermarket <laughs> yeah. roof. Here in the studio, we've got a big runway. Yeah. Val and Peter down by the door. Can you open the door, Val and Pete? Yep. Yeah. All right. Now, Walt, you, I think you better start your engines running because the, the, door, the door's going out. I better say goodbye to you yeah. now before yeah. you go. Start yeah. your engines. Are you ready? <coughs> Off you go, Walter. And there he goes, hurtling, hurtling down the studio. He's going to take off, I hope, and perhaps he'll fly when he reaches the outside. Is he flying? Where's he going? He's going off down the street. Has he taken off yet? There he goes. I think he's off. I believe he's going to land at London Airport, so if anybody at London Airport is watching, watch out for Walter in about five minutes' time.